The engine sounds going so nicely, but this is unbelievable. Somebody has just brought in a live pig into the spaceship, the auditorium. And he's loose now down there on the floor, and we've managed to pick him up with our roving microphone. Somebody do something about that sucker. We gotta do something about those pigs. Gotta get him out of here. Call in some reinforcements. <laughs> Time to apply the old coupe de thaw. I am not, as I said in my statement, at all ashamed of any of the things that I did. I was given a mission, and I tried to carry it out. The bottom of this, and find out all that has happened, and so far, I've told you all that I know, and you know the truth of the matter is, for quite some long time, all that you knew was what I told you. There was always a no man's land that a man could go to if he just didn't feel like being in the city anymore and wanted to get away. So to hell with it. Well, now we don't have that. But you still got the same genetic predisposition to that in the same general percentage of population, which are non-social people, you know what I mean? People who want to be gypsies or deadheads or whatever they are. And they, they don't have any choice. I don't have any choice in the matter. I cannot be psychically hold a job and get a house and do a nine to five, five days a week. No way in hell can I do that. Shoot me in the head first. It's impossible. I would if I could. I'm 42 years old. I certainly would if I could, and I certainly know by now that I can. So what do you do with your time without a, without the, the normal uh, job and the kids and the... I make a pretty decent living dumpster diving and trading. The only trouble is both are right now illegal. Again, it used to be that a man had the right to pick up some of those trash, and the rag man would come by. That was early recycling. And so if they want recycling, they ought to let us get in the dumpsters. They ought to make the dumpsters easily accessible to anybody who wants to get into them and make it our responsibility if we get hurt. Because I can dumpster dive a pretty damn good living out of the dumpsters. Not only my food and clothing, but enough goodies here and there, just tradable items. And then some of them even turn into cash, which gives me enough cash to do my laundry and buy paper products, same as food stamps, things like this. So it works if they leave me the hell alone. Uh, we'll live tomorrow. No, I just can't say that I know for sure. I've got to live today. My own feeling, I can see now that it's rather superficial. The feeling was, what have we done? That Oppenheimer knew. And I remembered the line from the Bhagavad Gita. I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. Some doubts as to my fitness for getting it done uh, made me worried. Also, I had then, as I've had throughout this whole thing, I'm not completely free of a sense of, of guilt. Nothing. Oh, doctor, I'm sorry. No, no. Be of good cheer. If science teaches us anything, it teaches us to accept our failures as well as our successes with quiet dignity and grace. Son of a bitch bastard, I'll get you for this! 
What did you do to me? What did you do to me? Stop it! Stop it! You kill him! I don't want to live! I do not want to live! Tonight's ABC News special, Waco, The Decision to Die, will continue in a moment. On the next Good Morning America. Power Mad Maniacs. Does that about say it? Power Mad Maniacs. Does that about say it? saying anyway had nothing to do with the fact that uh, that we now uh, have the compound virtually burned to the ground they began at dawn by knocking gaping holes into the walls of the compound and then introducing tear gas into the compound the concern here right now is is for uh, for the people inside the compound and the information we have is that 20 people have managed to get out of the compound and that's all we know and of course the big question is what is the status of the children inside children we believe to be according to david koresh's count numbering 17. uh who survived this thing we, we don't know they it just it dissipated the memories started to stop i found out that i could go outside my apartment and no one i never got shot at i could go to the grocery store i never got poisoned I could make telephone calls. I wasn't being taped. Nothing or was MPD. happening. We Detoxing are certain that Satanism exists. All of that medicine. To some, it's a religion. Getting fabulous pictures, and we're getting really good pictures from the from the ground because we're on top of a ladder here. Uh, but most of the press are crowded in here, as you can see, uh, like a bunch of people on a college prank. You know, how many people can get into the phone booth? It was a snake pit. It was like hell. I'm sure that I would die there sooner or later, and probably sooner. The prosecution lose because the defense team had the better lawyers. They had the better lawyers, that's for sure. They also had the better tactics. They got lucky and they had some great witnesses, particularly Dr. Lee.